Oh You're just God. joking. Get your attention, please. I don't need I think everybody's here. Here they are. All right. Uh, you listen up. Hey, yo, yo, yo. We're going to, uh, we're going to, uh, my dad's got a few words to say, and uh, then we're going to eat. And while y'all eat, we're going to start doing a little bit of Santa Claus. We'll wait till you're finished. But uh, I'll follow up after him because I know what he's going to say, and I agree with him. <laughs> oh, that's what they call poison in the wells. Hey, don't talk about Chuck's well. No, I'll make it real quick and short because you didn't come here to hear me talk. You came here to do what I want to do, have fun and drink and mix with each other and have a good time because we work together and sometimes there's a little bit of tension at times and other things and this is the time to turn loose and have fun but i just wanted to tell everybody merry christmas and thank you for working at the country club and at the rv park we appreciate what you do and i was reminded of the time when i was going to the second grade and i was so excited about it this is true y'all and my mother was a stay-at-home mom, even though she was a teacher. She came from a family of educators. Her brother was uh, a college professor, later chancellor of the Board of Regents. Another brother was an engineer and taught uh, Annapolis and later for NASA. So she had quite a record of a teacher. Well, I was really surprised when I got in second grade and she became my teacher. <laughs> that wasn't exactly cool. <laughs> um, but she taught us things, and the first word that she taught us, and I couldn't believe this because I later dealt with it all my life, and it was environment. And she said, cater to your environment. Lord, I couldn't even spell it. I spent two weeks worrying about it, writing it at home 50 times. And she said, you know, you're around physical things. Everything that you're around is your environment, the people. And if you associate with better things, better environment, physically, people, you will be better. So, you know, think about that during life and try to go in that direction. And that's the culture that's here at Madison RV and the country club. Customer service is second to none, five-star rating, and everybody strives for that. And, you know, nobody wants one blade of grass out here out of whack. They don't want any trash on the ground. Everybody tries to keep the golf course as perfect as we can. It's not just one of us. We all, we fix ball marks. We do whatever we see. And it's a team effort. And it's because you want to be the best. And that is key to this whole operation. And this is a time of year to say thank you for what you do. I know Brian appreciates it, and I certainly do. I used to get a lot of complaints, but I live here by myself. You wouldn't believe these old grumpy old 20 men that left off with us. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? When I finally hired Pat, they said, that guy don't know nothing. We ran him off 25 years ago. <laughs> but they've always had an answer. But, uh, this time they're saying that they're appreciative and they see what we've done and so it's really a pleasure to hear all of that and it makes you happy and proud to be part of it so uh brian i'm going to stop at that point but thank everybody and then I'll so he, I'll thank say, you. Uh, yeah, he's gonna yeah he's gonna bless us thank um, you so much it, it takes everybody in this building it's a team effort and then to this point it's not easy every day and uh you know, I, I can say this because it's in our little private group. You know, we have we have, we have customers and clients that are, are needy uh, and they get under our skin and they do some things. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, they do help pay the bills and we manage that. And then we go talk about it, you know, out of the place. But because of you, if you go take time to look on Google, to look on all these other sites around the country, this place that you helped run, and, and I'm looking at Chuck, who helped physically build it, um, is a it's a it's a five star resort. Well, he did. I mean, we he came here driving a dump truck with no air conditioning, and finally blew up, and he got a rental. But, um, but uh, those are true stories. Um, you know, unfortunately, the fire pit that he built at the Nicholas College is underwater currently, but we're mitigating that. And, uh, 
um, you know, but the reason that we're on the map, and let's just know, that, you know, y'all don't hear this maybe, but Madison as a community is growing. I mean, there's some money being spent here. I mean, tr you know, from Tractor Supply, we've got a new brewery that's maybe almost done, a couple of new restaurants, but we're putting money into this community, and other companies are, but y'all are the reason. You're the reason, and things can get, and you can pipe in, but I, we're all guilty. Things get mundane. I'm doing the same job every day, but understand what you're doing for this company and for yourselves and with us is appreciated. May not show it every day like I should, but we really do mean it. Okay. Um, let's have a blessing and then are we going to eat after yep. that? Yep, and then we're going to eat in about 15, 20 minutes. We'll start calling for presents. Okay. And.